welcome back to my channel on today's video we are tackling the house getting things picked up after being away for two weeks to visit family so i'm actually gonna start in the living room because i feel like there's just not too much to do in here it's kind of a builder task to get me motivated get me moving it is super early so i'm just trying to get the stuff done before i kind of just relax for the day um it's been crazy over here but anyway, I hope that you guys will stick until the end and hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. My channel is all about cleaning, decorating, DIY projects, and overall homemaking. And instead of me rambling on and on, I'm just going to jump into this video. Just wanted to give you guys an up close and personal view of the couch so you don't think that I'm cleaning clean home because some of you might think that. I don't think you really do because the people here and who have been long, en long enough here with me know that I have three kids that just make a mess everywhere and two dogs. But you can see the black hair on here and we did cut the grass and I swear it just gets tracked in from the back door. I need to figure out a solution. I know the couch, I could put sheets down. I just love the color of the couch. I don't know. I'll have to look to see if I can find some couch sheets that look the same. I do try to put blankets down so the dogs don't drag the like their hair all over the couch, but I do clean my couch almost every day. I, I'm trying to get better at it and vacuuming it, but you can just see the grass just all over it from cutting it. And if you guys have any solution for when the kids and dogs come back in from the back patio off the sliding glass door, let me know because like I said, the grass just gets dragged right on in. We're going right into the dining room and cleaning up the dining room, which is kind of like a morning room, I would say. It's right off the kitchen island. I put it here because that formal flex space behind it is like my husband's like area, and I plan to put a bar back there eventually. But right now, it is what it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this off really quick, vacuum up, and then I'm gonna tackle a few projects in this area, which are the bar stools because they got super gross and bad, even though I did use a Scotch guard, which made them super easy to clean, by the way. I just needed to go back over them really quick and touch them up because they were really gross. <laughs> Kids, what do you expect? Anyway, I'm going to do that. And then we are also going to be tackling the sliding glass door. I absolutely hate sliding glass doors. Their tracks stink, 
but we are getting there and I do apologize if you hear any banging my kids or just really anything in the background in these voiceovers today. I have people here working on the back patio today. Woohoo! I'm so excited for that DIY project to come out. Like I said in the last video, it will most likely be August. So make sure you are subscribing and hitting that alert bell. So you are notified for that big back patio makeover. So I don't want you guys to miss anything and I appreciate you guys clicking on here. Like I've said many, many times, I would not be able to do what I do without you guys. I am so appreciative of you. I love hearing about your guys' highs and your lows of the week down in the comments and really anything that's going on in your life. I love reading them and all the positive, just all the things, you know how I am. But I will be talking about my highs and lows towards the end of the video. Like I always do. If you don't know what the highs and lows are, it's a positive for the week and something that's not so positive like a negative or I really wouldn't like to say a negative but something that's not just makes you happy I don't know <laughs> anyway make sure you stay tuned until the end to hear that I lost my ways no words to say you're on my Time flies by I'm cutting down the wires I'm feeling kind of tired I think I lost myself I think I lost it all You know it's true I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe Right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late can't undo my mistakes The time's run out And I'm left standing wet Here in the rain The same old cloud Hanging over my head God, I wish you were here To save me from myself It feels the same goes on, but that's okay, why can't you stay, right here with, I said right here with me, I'm cutting down the wires, I know I'm looking tired, I think I lost myself, I think I lost it all. You know it's now that the bar stools are done i just use the bissell solution with the gain scent for breeze and it is my absolute favorite it gets all the stains out it works wonderfully and it leaves such a nice smell and nothing feels hard or crunchy after using it i normally like to use um tide powder with um what is it um uh, for the like, laundry softener and that worked great too but it definitely takes a toll on your machine to put powder in it. So I don't suggest doing that anymore. So I'm going to put the Bissell solution in and that's what got all of this out. And then we are going to take my little Bissell steam shot. I got it off Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. It's the Amazon, it's the deluxe version and it has attachments and it works amazingly. I just put it on with the window attachment and clean it. I always suggest starting at the tracks when you're using it though, because if you have mud like I do, it goes flying like flying everywhere and I made the mistake of doing my windows before once and then doing the tracks and it just got all over the place and it made no difference so I just want to let you know do that first do your tracks first and then do your windows if you have this tool but I definitely love it I want to try it in my shower in an upcoming video but I will let you guys know how that works all right. I've been thinking about you you make me feel so safe right when you told me Get you out my head I think you stole my soul 
shadows creeping everywhere I want you here so badly I can't get you off my head I think you stole my soul Shadows creeping everywhere I want you here You know it's true I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe Right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late I can't undo my mistakes The time's run out And I'm left standing wet here in the rain The same I feel like this room and the kitchen get the most sticky because of one kids and two dogs because they just come in through here by the back door mug comes in and then also just food and stuff from the bar area so I definitely wanted to just bust out my I do spin mop I love this thing it is linked in my Amazon storefront as well as below down in the description and it is just really quick and easy I love using it it's cordless and I'm just gonna tackle this little area really quick before we move on to the big pantry organization slash fixing it up because it was a disaster and I wanted to get the groceries that I had just sitting out because I had no motivation the night before to put them away. I just put away all the cold food. I left all the pantry food out for you guys today so that I could organize my pantry for you guys so I could give you that little bit of motivation that we all need to tackle our pantries because it's one of those things that I think we just close the door and be like, eh, it's good enough. But <laughs> I do want to change up my organization eventually but right now this is what I had in the last house it works perfectly fine and I don't want to spend the money that organization costs I don't know how everyone can just go out and buy a whole bunch of organization all at once because I definitely have to build up it's definitely not a one-time thing for me <laughs> I'm always a mom balling on a budget and I will always say that so let's just tackle this pantry and get this organized
while I finish up tackling the pantry and this kitchen before eventually going out and tackling the garage because that was a huge project in itself. But I wanted to talk about my highs and lows of the week. My high definitely is that we are going to see our friends in Columbia, South Carolina that have become like a family. If you don't know, we are military, so we moved to Kentucky in March. But we lived in South Carolina for the last two years. And before that, we lived in North Carolina. But in South Carolina, we met the most amazing people. We became very close. And it was honestly like a family. I cannot express how much I miss them. They just made me have so much fun with my short time there, but we're going to see them and then we're going to the beach for two or three days with the boys and I am so excited. And if you're wondering where my third child is, my bonus daughter is actually at her mom's for the summer. So she comes back towards the uh, beginning of school. So she leaves after the school year's over and then comes back before school. So she doesn't really get to do these things. So we only do small little vacations, but then the big ones are throughout the year when she is with us, just because that's what we like to do. But anyway, I'm super excited about that. I have not really taken a vacation in so long due to just a lot of personal court stuff with custody and stuff, not with my husband's baby mama, but with other people in our family that are very toxic. So Anyway, (laughs) there's that. And then I guess my low to the week. hmm. Oh, so funny story. I guess my low to the week, what be actually something that happened while I was visiting family. My dogs, my parents own a 50 acre property in the woods in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Like I'm telling you, it's country. And they own 50 acres and my three-year-old decided to let my two dogs out because we always take them with us because we're normally in for two to three weeks. So I just don't want to pay a dog sitter for that amount of time for them to stay in a crate. Anyway, my three-year-old let my dogs out and didn't tell me. And it was like a half hour before I noticed they were gone. And I was looking everywhere for them. Me and my parents were out on the side by side, the quads, everything looking for them. Well, then a neighbor comes running like down the driveway and like yelling in my like dad's face. Yes, like that's serious. He was going to eh, them. And so I like ran over there and I got them, but they called the state troopers on us. And the state trooper, even though I live in Kentucky, gave me a fine and mailed it to my parents address for losing control of my dogs. I was just baffled. So I guess that's my low, even though it's in the past. I don't really have a low this week because I'm super excited to go visit family in the 4th of July that just happened. I hope that everyone had a blast. But yeah, that was definitely my low because I got the fine this week in the mail because they had to resend it and send it to my address in Kentucky. So yeah, it was not cheap. It was ridiculous how expensive it was for loss of control of a pet on a 50 acre property because they somehow made it to the other person's property. I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, that's definitely my low. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' are. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know. You always know that I love conversing with you and just getting your thoughts. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. Now you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile You're the solution
So I decided that this looked better here. I know that it's dark because of the window, but I think that this just looks better here with this sage green runner. I don't have the table extended. That's why it runs over the sides, but I don't feel like extending it right now. But I think that looks better there than on my kitchen island because I have, with the, the sink, it just clutters the countertop and makes it so much harder. And I, like I said in my previous videos, and I can hear my kids talking in the background, but I am trying to be more minimal and I did not like how cluttered it felt on the kitchen island. So I got rid of that and now I feel like there's just so much more space for like meal prep and everything else. So I think I like it a lot more with actually no floral arrangement on the island. We'll see how that goes later on, but right now I'm liking it. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I feel like this area is always a mess. So I just wanted to pick it up, get this mat out. It had mud all over it from the mud boots from the winter. So I wanted to move the boots out of here and just clean up all those shoes and vacuum over here because it was just really bad. I know it's hard to see on camera with the floors being so light, but there is stuff all over the floor over in this corner.
You say me too Yeah, I need it Don't you need me to Cause I got you And you got me too Happy 4th of July weekend. It is a new day and we are tackling the garage. It's nothing serious. We're not doing a really big deep clean organization, anything like that. It's just, it has gotten out of hand in here. It's somewhere where I throw everything plus my gym workout stuff is out here. I work out here every day and it just gets messy and unorganized. And <laughs> you will see from all the decluttering I've been doing in the last few videos, all of it is in the garage. It's pretty sad so I'm gonna start loading that into my van so I can take that to Goodwill this week and kind of just pick up but I'll show you guys what it looks like because it's bad so bear with me <laughs> we're gonna jump right into this garage as you can see all of that is donates uh, this big box actually I'm wrong that's my office stuff that we just haven't put back because I don't have shelves yet so that might just get pushed around in here just stuff everywhere I did have a lot of these things I was gonna try to like sell them or give them away for free instead of just taking them to like Goodwill but I just don't have the energy for that I do still have to unbox this but it will be going with us to South Carolina this week so that we could use it for the beach hopefully it will work well that way uh, the grill still needs cleaned up yeah, I haven't cleaned it yet but it needs moved to the back of the house but our patio is being poured so that won't get moved out of here like i said it's nothing crazy just trying to pick up the weights move things around put them back where they go but yeah let's get let's get started <laughs>
I will say that we decided to do this in the middle of the day on a Saturday. And this past Saturday, it was like 98 degrees outside. Yes, it was super hot and humid and muggy and buggy and all the things. But we're out here getting this garage tackled because I wanted to get it done before our back patio started getting poured. Plus, I just cannot stand the mess. And we're going on vacation. I just, I did not want to leave it like it was. And I don't know if you could tell, but in the beginning, there was a whole bunch of fertilizer literally everywhere because one of my kids decided to dump it. So I had to clean all of that out of here and just get all of this picked up. It was so bad. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of Which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more you leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything 
to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign There's no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign we are just finishing up the last little touches in the garage and that'll bring us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys got all of the cleaning motivation, decluttering, and just all of the things in today's video. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. My channel is all for those parents who just need a little help maintaining and getting that motivation to clean their house. And I will see you guys back next time. Again, I appreciate you guys so much.